Welcome back. Now, today I want a very quick look at Copilot. This is an artificial powered digital assistant by Microsoft, and this helps users with tasks across the web, for example, with document creation, data analysis, project management, image creation, web design. It comes with an app as well. So, for example, you've got your phone and you took a photo of an object you're not sure about. The AI within Copilot would identify it for you and give you information regarding that. There's so many powerful options built into AI now. But today I just want to look at it in Microsoft Word as if you're working within a business quickly or academic. Bear in mind academic or both, you've got personal information and also plagiarism academically, so you've got to be so careful. Now first thing you need to do is actually enable Copilot. So go to file top left, select options bottom left. On the left panel, if you see Copilot, tap that for me. And make sure you tick Enable Copilot. It might already be enabled, but just in case, click OK. Now I've got a document open called the Incus. Just something I've got off the internet generally. Now I might want to work with this. I might want to summarize it, create audio files. We can do all this using Copilot. Now I've got the icon here. But can you see the little icon here as well? But if you click Alt plus I, it brings up a little drop down menu and you can see keep writing this a structure and refine or insert a summary or even if you want to chat with cold pilot to help you with what you're doing within your document but I'm going to select insert summary tap on it and it should insert a summary above and there we go it's giving me a quick summary now at the bottom I've got some multiple options. Can you see the box for example make it formal? I could type make it formal or non-formal. But I'm going to select keep it. So now I can keep that at the top. Now I'm going to open Copilot on the right. Come up the top. And you've got a little panel pops up. And it just throws some ideas at you first. For example summarise this document. Generate an audio overview from this document. Uh, generate an image of description. So you've got an image, something to do with the Incas, and it's got some text and information on it. You can upload it, and then it will summarise it, give you an overview of that. And even there, what does the document say about roles and responsibilities? So what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to select generate an audio overview from this document. And that's great, because once you've got an audio file, an overview, and you need to go with something quickly, you can listen to it on the move in the car or on your phone. So click Generate audio overview from document. Let it work pound it there at the bottom. Welcome to our comprehensive discussion on the history and transformation of the Inca Empire as illuminated by a detailed summary from Encyclopedia Britannica. Today click pause. So there you go, it's now broken it all down for you into a summarization, which is really handy. Now I've got another document here I'm going to open up. And again, I'm going to open up Copilot at the top. Tap in a little circle at the top here, creates a new conversation. So it'll give you different conversations to help with your document. Or you can always type down the bottom here if you wish. Extract text from this image. Now I've got an image I want to upload on nanobots and cancer. And there's a lot of text and information on there. So if I click extract text from this image, at the bottom it says add an image. So I'm going to upload an image from my desktop. And then come down bottom right and click the arrow. Let that work away. So now we're extracting the text from the image. And there we go. There's all the information extracted from that image and bullet pointed for me or I can copy and paste the information that I want. So there's a very quick look at how you can incorporate Copilot into your documents. Thanks for watching.